Howdy folks, TJ here. I have a fun unboxing and a new series of videos I'm going to make. Before we open the box though, let's uh, chat about why I purchased this. So is it a retro computer? No. Is it a new Tenkara fishing rod? No. I live up here in the mountains of California and we have some pretty good storms periodically. I've been up here 25 years and in that time we've had our share of power outages but nothing that ever lasted days upon days where having no electricity became an issue until PG&E started um, having infrastructure issues that's what I'll leave it at and uh, you know in the past when in the summer, hot summers, they would have those rolling blackout type of thing because everybody was harnessing electricity. And so they would have rolling blackouts. So you would ex you know, be out of power for a short time, but never again days upon days. Now with all the big fire issues that California continues to get worse and worse, and the infrastructure of power lines out there falling on trees and causing electrical issues and fires starting, They've, uh, for the last number of years, been turning off power. And they won't restore it until they've went around and inspected every single line. You can imagine that takes a long time. So you can be without power for three, four, five, six days. When you live out in the country and live off of well water, that's a cat out there getting crazy. <laughs> no water, no running water, I can't flush the pooper. Lots of issues like that come up. No electricity means lots of issues. So I've been exploring solar. I'm much more happier running a battery operated lawnmower than running a gasoline type of mower. I just like the harnessing the power of the sun. And if cats hop up on the table, so be it. They're part of the family, so you may see them. But I finally Bit the bullet and purchase some solar goodies. So in the coming weeks and months, I'm going to do a series of videos on my solar setup. So let's first unbox this and show you what I purchased. This is strictly going to be an unboxing. And then I have another unboxing video I'm going to make of some other goods that should arrive later today. And then I will make a video on first use of these together. And then over time, testing to see if my idea of a little setup that I can use not only at home, but when we go camping will be of a better benefit. I should have, if I had the money, thousands of dollars, invested in a all house type of system. But what I'm doing instead is making a small portable setup that I can take on vacation with us, because we go camping a lot, two weeks at a time off grid, having power is cool. Uh, but I'd like to be able to use it here to run some essentials. Essentials meaning that refrigerator back there. Now this may not quite do what I'm thinking it will, but I think I'm going to get close. That was the goal, getting close, and I can add on top of this later. And if not, I need to modify some things and we'll go from there. But let's pop this open. So, let's slit the box. This was purchased via Amazon. And it's a little heavier than I expected. <laughs> uh, I had to, I was going to just grab it with one hand and yank it in the house, but that didn't work. I had to take two hands for this. The box was a little bigger, unruly. So, paper. What did I per, oh, there's two of them. That's right, I purchased two of these. Oh, let me sneak it out of the, out of the view. Uh, let me sneak it out of the view. <laughs> Uh, Lay it down here. So now we've got a big empty box and the cats will enjoy that tremendously. Free, well, cost me an arm and a leg for these, but a free box for them to play in. So what did I purchase? So this is the first thing. Portable solar folding panels. I've done my research and looked at lots of options. There were some other ones I really wanted to be able to get to match what I'm going to be unboxing later, but they were considerably more expensive, and I didn't see the reason for it. These popped up on sale and had a lot of good reviews, and is the Rock Pals Folding Solar Panels. I purchased two, because what I'm going to do, these are 100 waters. What I'm going to unbox later can handle up to 200 watts of input. 
in parallel. So I'm going to parallel these suckers and be able to fully charge that device that I'm going to show later. Being a little cryptic, but you probably know what it is anyway. And I decided on these. Uh, great deal on Amazon. I think I paid $179 per set. So well under $400 for 200 watts total. I think it was $179. Uh, had to pay shipping and tax here, typical. So let's um, show the box number one. So these Rock Pals have come in a nice box. Hopefully the glare from my light's not too bad. So, foldable solar panel rock pals, designed for portable power station, high conversion efficiency, foldable and portable. Down here on the box, and I'll oh, just kind of, I don't know if this is going to be in the shot or not, but I kind of always show things at a few angles. Down here, solar panel, panel waterproof, it says, and foldable. RP100. Sides of the box, white, <laughs> white, nothing. See, I do a lot of retro computer stuff and they always have some goodies on the, on the sides, but not in this case. So on the back, we've got all of these specifications and you're not gonna see those from over there, which is fine, but I'll read off a few to you. So specification uh, features, I'm not gonna read all this stuff. You can Google it if you need to but it is a Anderson type of connector. And what I liked about this is this set came parallel ready, meaning it comes with the right Anderson cable and parallel Y type of cable to connect the second one to it. I don't have to purchase that separately, which is cool. Now, although the thing that I'm gonna open up later needs a different adapter, so I did need to buy a $8 or $7.99 uh, adapter to connect this to it, which is fine. So it shows a nice little picture of the Rock Pals uh, battery unit and what the solar panel looks like. Serial number and all sorts of goodies back here. So Anderson output 18 volts. So this is going to be a lot of fun. I really enjoy solar. I've had a little, uh, I made my own little marine battery. My father-in-law had a big old uh, battery, Model 127 or 27, whatever, big, big battery from his RV, stuck it in one of those marine type of portable cases that they have for batteries and made my own little kind of solar setup. I was tinkering with this last summer, which was fun, but this is gonna be a lot more capable. But I'll keep using that other one too. It was a lot of fun making my own. So very well packaged so far. Okay, so they've got some bubble wrap. Anything in here? <laughs> nope. So let's put this aside. So inside came nice and packaged. There's looks like little foam on each of the corners here to protect the edges. Looks like a user manual of some kind in here. Yippers. Let's take that out and let's slide this out and now I remember why it was a little heavier box than I expected. Here's what these little foamy things were on the corner. Let me just throw them in here. Oh, there's also the Sure Gel stuff for keeping everything dry. Don't want the cats to chew on that. And so let's see, Rock Pals extended warranty card. So need to send that in. Let's see the back, submit order. You can get free six month extended warranty, more free gifts. I better read that later. I love free gifts. Has an accordion style manual. I'm not gonna show super close up of this. <clears throat> the back side is in Chinese, I'm guessing. Uh, and this side that I was showing you is in English. Has, uh, looks like how to connect everything up. Uh, frequently asked questions, wide compatibility, contact us. So it has all the nitty gritty on how to get the ball rolling. So cool. I'll read that a little closer. Uh, where do we start? Let's unzip this first. So inside this little zipper. Oh, cool. So here is that Y cable that I was talking about. Splitting two into one. And then my adapter that I purchased is going to connect this to that thing I'm going to do a review on later. So inside here is that. 
Inside here is another cable. So this is an Anderson style uh, Y cable that's gonna parallel what I have in here because in here is a attached cable. I'm gonna guess 10 foot. And that's gonna connect to this. And then my other panel will connect to the second Y and then off to my thingy dingy that I'm gonna do later. Also in here, uh, it's going to be kind of hard to show this because this doesn't, that's one little uh, maybe negative part. So inside this flap is a USB, you can directly charge devices. Looks like a USB-C and regular USB original in here. You can kind of see this, but these flaps don't go back all the way. So maybe if they would have moved that a little bit further up or allowed the zipper to zip all the way down, would have been more convenient but I won't knock it, that's not too big of a deal. So let me stick this cable back in here so I don't lose any of this stuff. So nice heavy duty material, so I don't mind getting it scuffed up a little bit when I go out camping. And then there's a, oh, this is the leg. Oh! There you go, so when you open this later, you're going to have the nice angle for the sun. Very cool. Getting maximum sunlight to these. And this is just the material here. There's a little rigidity to this, which is cool. And a lot of the videos I saw said these are actually half decent legs. But at, they should have added one more is what everybody else said. <laughs> which I think I'm going to agree with. Because then everything, you kind of get the saggy butt syndrome. You got that middle one that's just kind of sagging. <laughs> So let's uh, see if I can kind of open this up on my table. Now this is going to be longer than the table, so maybe I should show you this. So uh, the front side of this is very nice looking. It says Rockpal Solar Charger 100 watts, output 18 volts. This whole thing is not too heavy. But then you put two of them together in that box and it's a little heavier than my one hand can handle. Grommets here, so if you're the hanging type and don't want to use the little legs and you want to hang it on the side of your RV or whatever, nice heavy-duty clips that you can hang it from. So, whoa, the working end. Look at that. Solar panel, and this is a newer model for them, so it should be the current up-to-date stuff taking advantage of the sun as best as it can. Second panel, and I'm going to have to kind of be tricky because my table's only four foot. It's an antique table. Everybody was shorter back then. I was tall back in those days. I'm only five foot six, but I was hurting back then. Now I'm just a little peanut. <laughs> Although, I'm not too little. <laughs> okay, one more. Look at that. So I've got... Oh, maybe you can kind of get them all in there. Woo! So yeah, there's a lot of panel operating here. I'm gonna have two of these suckers. Very cool. Uh, again, you know, this video's more of the unboxing part. When I connect these up later, I'll do a uh, more closer inspection of here. And here's one of the other legs. Very cool. They're saying that they should have stuck one in the middle. And we'll see that when I go to set up and if I agree with that. Fold down, and... Oh, we got cat hair on here. Cats all over the place. So, panel, solar, rock pals. I am super excited. Now we'll at least be able to run some electrical items around here. My end goal with 200 watts and again, that's nominal because depending on the level of the sun and how you point them and what power unit you're connecting it to, I'm just hoping to be able to keep the battery updated during the course of the day when the sun's out. And then at nighttime when the sun goes down, the battery device that I've purchased can keep the refrigerator, that sucker, about 20 years old, eh, we'll see how it goes, running most of the night. You know, believe it or not, when the power goes out, that freezer can keep stuff cold for a good number of hours, four hours. And in fact, I have a lot of pipe bombs in there. Not that kind of pipe bomb, but water bombs, I call it. Big old two liters of water that I've made big ice out of. 
So half of my freezer down there has got these ice bombs all over the place. So if the power goes out, my MO would be grabbing my big cooler, taking those out, having these big ice bombs that would last days rather than little ice cubes. So that freezer can keep frozen for quite some time. So if my getup doesn't keep me powered up fully overnight, but enough to where everything kind of still stays cool, that's my goal. So anyway, unboxing number one for solar 2021 Ferrera household is done for the unboxing of the rock pals. I'll do a video of connecting these up to that future device, which I'll be reviewing here and unboxing in a little bit. So thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Great job, Rock Pals. So far, so good. It looks good. Next thing is, does it operate good and bring in lots of power from the sun? And I've got two of these bad boys. Look at that. Two of them. Cool. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys.